Gabe an Kadiri Dalaga. Oh my goodness, Kadiri, Kadiri, Kadiri Dalaga. Because I'm gulat ako. And it's not chicken. It's a towel. Ayun guys, before I continue my video, please let me take a minute to tell you about our new drink. The Catilia from Andy's Cafe. Sopra masarap talaga. Please support our new business during this hard time of COVID. Sopra masarap talaga. Tignan nyo, mayon pearls, all in na talaga. Mayon almonds, crushed almonds sa loob. This is basically our take of the rocky road. Sopra masarap talaga. Promise ako, we deliver everywhere in Metro Manila. Order sa Facebook. Easy, easy lang naman eh. Just go to Andy's Cafe on Facebook to order. PM your orders. We are there from 10 a.m. until 10 p.m. at night. Order na talaga ha. Huwag na kalimutan ha. Ayun. Mmm. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is really good ha. Sino tempura ito? Ikaw yun? Ang kaling ha. Kape. Masarap. Approved by Kuya Andres. Oh my god, kadiri, kadiri, kadiri talaga! Ano pa to? Towel? Jollibee fried towel? Oh my goodness! Let's have a look at what Angelic posted on her Facebook just a few days ago. Sopa kadiri talaga ha? Angelic Paris. Just something that frustrated me this late. We had Jollibee delivered via Grab. Ordered chicken for my son. While I was trying to get him a bite, I found it super hard to even slice. Then I tried opening it up with my hands and to my surprise, a deep fried towel! Kadiri! Kadiri talaga! A deep fried towel? You gotta be kidding me! Luckily, the kid did not actually eat the chicken with his kamay, no? Because usually ganun talaga, diba? Ever since childhood, diba? Most Filipinos have been eating Jollibee fried chicken, no? And usually we just eat it and bite it with a kamay, na, diba? Kaso, at least naman Angelic uh, tried to cut it and slice it before the child actually started eating it, no? So she discovered that inside, it's a fried towel! Yorks, my goodness, it's like you're bursting all your childhood dreams, you know? Get mentally disturbed. What have I been eating? This is really disturbing. How the hell do you get the towel in the batter and even fry it? Yun, totoo. Well, totoo talaga. Impossible naman yun. Imagine. First, you have to batter the towel. Before you batter the chicken at Jollibee, you actually have to touch it and smell it. So, impossible naman yun. And you cannot just drop it in the fryer because the batter was there already. Impossible na talaga. So, let's see. What else? You batter it first and then you have to leave it for a while actually before you put it into the fryer. So at the time when you put it into the fryer, naman, you use thongs, right? Now you can already feel that this feels different. This is not a chicken. You put it into the fryer, diba? That was your, when it is inside, I mean, how do you even get the shape of the chicken unless you molded it, diba? Oh, it would usually come up like a, you know, like a wet rock or something. Okay, so let's see what else she says here. I really thought that the posts complaining about weird stuff in their orders were just all made up. Now I know that it really happens. So disgusting and embarrassing to think that you are even branched in BGC. Oh, oh naman eh. That's the Bonifacio stopover, I think. There is a first for everything. And this has been the worst first. Calming myself down for this, but what the heck? Oh, nga. So she actually went to Tulfo. Idol, shout out, Tulfo Mustaka. So, Dolph is also asking her about this and um, una una, Angelic wants to make public awareness about this problem, not about this issue. But I think after she talked to Dolfo, she's actually preparing to file for uh, some kind of damages, which I think is quite okay now. Of course, we have to say here straight away, uh, this is definitely not done by Jollibee, no? I said, Shampoo, man, Jollibee will not do this, no? This is not possible okay with the procedures there that they have in order in Jollibee it's not possible it's an ISO certified company and imagine the reputation getting damaged Shambonaman not possible so this is absolutely done by 
uh, the employees at that branch. Now, your problem along is, why would this happen? For me, there's only two solutions. Either it's sabotage by the employees, maybe they are angry with Jollibee for some reason, or is it a competitor? Mm. But a competitor, that's also impossible. And McDonald's has already been out with a statement saying that this they would never do. And of course they would never do this. I mean, they can do many things as competitors, but actually frying a towel or paying somebody to fry a towel or whatever, this doesn't work because it's also going to hurt them. It's going to affect them too, especially if it's discovered that they did it, Deva. Right? So that's not true. So it leaves me with uh, another option, error, human error. They're tired, they're playing ML on the cell phones, texting on Asawa or busy busy, Sajowa or whatever. But that's also not possible. Human error, I don't believe that. So we are going back to uh, sabotage by an employee. Sabotage is maybe a strong word. It could also, buy, just, it could also just be that the employee think it's funny. Oh, <laughs> funny talaga. To put a fried towel inside. Ano ba yan? Okay. Now, I can't even think of the other chicken joists like a summer while frying this. Having the same oil for how many hours after frying this fried towel? Ayon! That's another problem I see. Diba? The batter is contaminated, no? Diba? Oh, it says here, the essence of the towel contaminated the oil and the batter from the supplier. So how many chicken joists are affected? We won't know. Your batter is already being contaminated with the towel. Tapos, when you fry it, your oil is not being changed all the time. It's being recycled. You actually use that for, I don't know, maybe 50 or 100 uh, chicken joists. Right? Meaning to say, everybody who got a chicken joy after the towel was fried has got contaminants in it. Okay, let's try to have a look at the video itself so we can see how this fried towel actually looks. It really looks like a chicken, no? Pang, ano? The chicken thai or chicken breast. It's man shaped, talaga, no? Whoa, Ew, 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 ew. So smile, you sip. Did you guys see that? Want to see it one more time? I think I have another clip. Jollibee Bonifacio stop over. Had it is so disgusting. It really, Washing really looks chicken, like. Oh, oh, pang chicken talaga. Gulat ako. Oh my. Yeah. It's Ew. not chicken. It's a towel. Yeah. So as you guys can see, this is kind of a bluish green, bluish color towel. Pang good morning towel, Lana. But the thing is. In Jollibee, they're using wet wipes in the kitchen for different areas. But this type of towel, according to so many employees from Jollibee, is actually used for wiping down the tables and the chairs. So, so pakadire talaga. This is the one that they're squishing with the water, the dirty, you know? The ba Yow! Ew! So, this has been used to wipe down the tables out in the restaurant first. So, what if somebody's been sitting there coughing, sneezing all over the place, especially... We have to be extra careful, right? Well, Jollibee, of course, is taking a very hard stand on this because this is not acceptable for them at all. So they've seen the complaint. They've actually closed down the store at Bonifacio Global City for three days to either retrain the staff there and hopefully investigate them. That's what they're saying. They're going to investigate them. And uh, they are going to explain and review all the procedures again with the employees, with the managers at that franchise store. Hopefully, this will ensure that this will not happen again. Uh, yeah, so there has also been a lot of memes out lately, like uh, about the fried towel from Jollibee, of course. Uh, one of those I like is this one, which part of the... Anong pinakamasarap na parte ng manok? Breast, paa, leeg, thai, towel, rib, leg, wing, ulo. <laughs> Here we got a, uh, <laughs> especially during this coronavirus time where you make so much food at home, a lot of companies actually selling the 
the chicken parts and the sauce even Jollibee is doing that right you can make it at home so I know they're selling the towel because I'm on uh, the batter no? you can make it at home Jollibee fried towel huh alam nyo naman taga Denmark ako diba in Denmark we have very strict safety protocols for restaurants fast food chains and even for the street vendors now we have something called the smiley um, face that we are giving to restaurants so the FDA in Denmark Food and Drug Administration they will come out to check every single restaurant every single fast food chain branch every single street vendor selling food in Denmark they will go out to check them and if they pass and there's no problem everything is malinis they will give you a happy smiley face pag may problema naman they can give a angry face pag may an angry face that means to say you really have a problem and they're actually displaying this angry face harap ng store so meaning to say when you go into the restaurant you see this angry face in the window or shamba naman eh hindi pumasok eh kasi something is wrong with the food quality diba i think that could be a very good idea for the philippines we need a better control from the government we need better checks kasi it happens all the time i don't know how many employees in my office they've called in sick because men lbm kasi they eat something like sisiu or kaidano on the street or minsan ano sa karinderia and they got lbm and some of them got food poisoning it happens all the time in the philippines okay guys so this video is from korea it shows um the quality and the safety procedures and the hygiene procedures in this bakery before people actually start working inside the factory it is absolutely mind blowing Grabe talaga. It is so clean. Malinis na malinis talaga. So let's have a look and let's hope that we can implement this in the Philippines as well. In the big uh, factories making food or in the commissaries. That would also be a great idea. Kites, bakeries, anywhere. This should be standard procedure. Let's have a look at how they do it in Korea. Ayan, pasok na sila. Tapos, they're gonna clean all the uniforms. No, prayas, prayas yung uniforms nila, no? Oh, look at the mask covering the whole face, huh? Nice. Oh, vacuum cleaner pa. Oh, vacuum pa more. Wash the hands. Soap, clean it, no? Absolutely, that's the way it should be if you work with food in a factory. Ayan. Ayan, nice. Nice, another apron here. Very good. Ayan, now, pumasok sila sa area nila, no? Ayan. So, as you guys can see, no? Hygiene is super important in most developed countries. And, hey, for me, Philippines is so developed. We have so much food. We need to take care of our people. Dami pearls are. <laughs> okay, guys, wait. Pearls pa. Pearls pa. Wag na kalimutan mag order, huh? Sa Facebook, look for Andy's Cafe. Help us out during this hard time we have right now. I promise you, these will be the best drinks that you've ever had. So, anyhow, guys, why don't you leave me a comment below and tell me how can we here in the Philippines improve the food safety standards? Would it be a great idea to have a special agency going around to check restaurants and fast food chains in the country? So I also want to hear, what do you think about the Jollibee fried towel? Should it be on the menu or shouldn't it be on the menu? <laughs> and guys, what na kalimutan ha? Subscribe sa YouTube channel ko. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And most important, ring that bell button so you will be notified about the new videos that I have for you guys. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Trending Nian Dress. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button and of course the bell button so you will be notified when we have new videos for you.